Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. But please know that these re these messages can go either way. And check your moon and rising signs in case this doesn't resonate. And it will not resonate with everyone because these are just general readings. Overall energy for this reading is the Ace of Cups in reverse. As if to indicate that there was some type of a turn down offer in the past. And this has something to do with some type of trust issue that was going on in this relationship. One of you was willing to put in the work in this relationship while the other one was kind of sitting on the sidelines. I'm not really willing to put in the effort anymore because someone in your situation recognized that they that the two of you are at an impasse. And so you feel one of you is feeling as if you you can't really reconcile these differences, so you kind of just let things go and and, rec and you know, you sing things for what they really are. One of you is. And the other one of you is is feeling like you have to fight for this relationship. You're still willing to put in the work and you're hoping that you can kind of save things and restore it back to where it once was. I'm seeing that there was definitely an affair it involved two parties. Please pay no attention to the genders in the card. I could be male. Could be women, but someone had multiple partners, multiple suitors in this relationship, and things um, are ultimately going to come to an end because of some type of deception. Um, some of you could be going to court. I'm seeing a lot of pentacles in reverse, as if to indicate that there are a lot of losses. I'm seeing that the six of pentacles as well, as if to, to also indicate that things could not. If you're going to court, there could be a situation where there is a lot of loss or a lot of there's there's a payout that's having to um, be done on your part. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius Sun Moon arising, but um, there needs to be someone is trying to find balance in this situation. Someone may actually move out of the home, and they're having a lot of guilt about things. Someone's really trying to find the balance here. And there's a sense of rejection because someone is being left out in the cold with this Five of Pentacles. We've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse too, as if to indicate that there's some type of emotional drainage or it could even be a financial drainage. I'm saying that, that some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well, Sun, Moon, and Rising. But this, this was some type of a toxic situation. And this topic caused a lot of arguments and a lot of feuding, um, a lot of butting heads over, you know, how to resolve this situation. And I'm seeing that when you confront this person, you may be getting some inconsistencies. And you may see this person's story as being unreliable. There may even be threats to kind of sever the ties. We've got the, the Queen of Swords here. And she is responsible for cutting out what she deems um, unnecessary in her life. Because I'm feeling like some of you are feeling like you've wasted your time in this relationship. You've invested a lot of time and energy, and so you're really giving a lot of thought to walking away. Because you're tired of having to compete in this relationship, and you're tired of the conflict. Now, this conflict could be literal, it could also be mental. And I'm seeing that communication is definitely an issue, but I'm seeing communication can be coming in from another person involved in this situation. Because I'm seeing that this, this is still currently a third-party situation where someone hasn't been able to make a decision. And I'm seeing that someone's going to make a decision for themselves and release themselves from a situation where they feel that they've been dealt an injustice. Someone is really caught up in the past and really dwelling on things, ruminating over how things played out. Um, and, and hoping for things to be restored back to how they once were. And really just having constant memories of that. While one of you is moving on, possibly even moving out of the house. Because someone is now ready to turn their back on this situation and move on. I'm seeing that where deception was currently a factor, that the truth will be revealed... And I feel like someone is going to confess the truth about something that was going on behind the scenes. And that, that ultimately leads to, you know, an offer being turned down. I'm saying that there was also one in the past. And it likely had something to do with some infidelity as well. 
you be dealing with a Virgo sun, moon, and rising, but someone has definitely withdrawn from the relationship and they're kind of emotionally unavailable. They're going within to get answers and they're doing some soul searching, trying to garner some wisdom about what the next step is going to be in this situation. I'm seeing some truthful communication is coming your way. The lines of communication will be opened up between the two of you and you will be able to communicate about possibly moving on or moving forward from this relationship because you're tired of avoiding the issue um, that, is, that is keeping the two of you divided. There's definitely trust issues here. And one of you is definitely feeling betrayed by the other one's actions. I'm seeing that some of you, someone in your situation, possibly a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, is going to open up and make a confession about something. Maybe about dealing with someone um, behind the scenes. One of you is still willing to put in the work, though. You're still hoping to restore things. Seeing some of you could be dealing with an Aries as well. Okay, like I said before, you're dealing with someone who's an emotion who is emotionally unavailable, um, who's emotionally cold, distant. And one of you was feeling stuck in the past, but I'm seeing you could be dealing with a Gemini or a head over heart decision is going to be made about a three party situation. Because I'm seeing that someone wants a commitment. They want something solid. They want a firm foundation. Some of you might even be changing locations or um, moving to moving house. You may be selling a house. They might be cutting your losses with um, some type of financial loss that comes with, with moving. Because I'm seeing a lot of pentacles here in reverse. Some of you could be in court trying to settle a situation. You know, um, maybe... Some of you are going through divorces and trying to settle a situation with property matters. And there could be losses. There could be some type of payout as a result. Some of you are feeling like you have to stand your ground and you're demanding the truth from, from this partner. You're feeling like you have to self-protect because you feel like your partner has turned their back on you. you know, and they don't have your best interest at heart. And I'm saying some of you are just, you know, tired of living like roommates and you want something stable and something solid. So I'm saying that some of you will eventually um, have a separation. And that, that might be what this division of property has to do with. Yeah, some of you are not making a decision and something is not moving forward as a result. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm also seeing Aquarius. And... Um, Someone is not feeling very hopeful about things. Not, you know, hope, you know, they're not seeing an opportunity to restore things. Because again, someone feels like they're at an impasse. And things will ultimately come to an end. With the Wheel of Fortune, I'm saying endings and new beginnings taking place in your relationship. New beginnings elsewhere. Because this, this situation, it looks like someone is ready to sever the ties and completely walk away. I'm saying that this has been an emotional roller coaster for the two of you, and that some of you are ready to make an offer someplace else, and that you've made a final decision about a three party situation, and you've decided to walk away from a situation that is kind of falling apart and dissipating, where you feel like you've got nothing but a lot of um, emotional loss, maybe even financial loss, and a lot of frustration because situations are not getting resolved because. Everything has become one-sided where one of you is willing to put in the work while the other one just really isn't interested and they kind of um, backed away. And one of you is just really getting tired of doing everything by yourself and you're kind of seeing things for what they are and you're removing yourself from a situation that was once toxic and is still currently to this day probably still toxic. It looks like you want better for yourself. You're tired of the rejection and the guilt. And you're ready to put your life back in balance. And I'm saying some of you will walk away and move on and move out and change locations. 
Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for the Libra couples from now until next week? Communicate clearly, it says. The situation requires very precise and careful communication. Don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them. In-person discussions are preferable, but if that's not possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. This card can indicate that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge for the parties involved. By clearing up any misunderstandings, you can heal the situation so everyone can start moving forward again. So this moving forward again doesn't necessarily have to mean that the two of you move forward together. It looks like the two of you are resolving whatever situations that you need to communicate about so that the two of you can move in two different directions because that looks like that is what is um, probably preferable in this situation where the two of you are at an impasse. I'm seeing that the two of you are really hoping to gain some wisdom out of the situation and the wisdom in the situation could be that it's time to just go ahead and let bygones be bygones and let the past be in the past and move forward so that you have an opportunity to start something new elsewhere is what I'm seeing this week for you, Libra. So this does it for your weekly reading, Libra. If you are interested in booking a personal reading, I can be contacted at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com or directly at my website, angelicascensionstarot.com. I wish you all the best. And I hope and pray that you're not feeling defeated in this situation. For those of you are, who are still holding on, I want you to know that there is still hope. Maybe outside of this relationship, you will be fine, even though right now it can seem like it's a bit heavy. Um, and for those of you who are brand new to my channel, I give you a warm welcome and know that these are weekly readings. And I will see you again next week. And if you found that this did resonate with you, please give me a, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up, the like button at the bottom. And um, thank you all for your loyalty, and I will see you again next week. Bye for now, Libra.